The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest hospital lockdown room. Maybe it was Ati. What? It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? Maybe. Uh, can I just break it up? Go through. Well, I mean, by logic, yes. Hell yeah, okay. <laughs> Destruction, man. Ritual impulse. override is right there how do we get there Good water. That's close one, I must be more careful.
I thought I can burn that, sh that shit down. So better, how I... I got the mission. What did I cl click a bar? Import, okay. Clip, clip. Should I? Or should I just wait? I can swap, uh, swap the weapons from one to another. Looks like I'm not skipping anything here, right? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, s I'm gonna skip something at some point, but like... So far so good, I guess. I mean, I think I skipped a couple notes already. What's down that way? The fuck An is that? object of power. How do you think it got down here? No idea, but it's a fucking funny man. A carousel horse. Yep. What do you mean gold enemies are imm immune? <laughs> Fuck mate, come on! <laughs>
must keep up with me now. Oh my god, okay. I see my problem, I see the problem, I, I found the problem. Man, I'm losing points, I must be careful with that. <laughs> with dying. Fuck, again? Are you serious, mate? Okay. Fickle, fucking middle of nowhere, quite literally, man. Oh my god, my eyes, man. Okay. Was that death or jabate of jabate? Okay, jabate of jabate. Copy fucking death. Oh, again. Drawing the pyramid. The what? The pyramid. Hmm. What's a pyramid? The black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? Dun dun dun. It's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. I miss my home. Aww. Such. That's fine. Level two.
Tô bem. Pé. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. <laughs> It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted. Otherwise, I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Yeah, yeah, you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm not going to perkele suoraan that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Perkele. And the pensioner inside is starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a part in Sahara. <laughs> Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the trip before I go to my vacation. The works on the task board here. You can do later when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it, and soon this crisis is gonna be last winter snow. Yeah, boys. <laughs> you better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Arti ja boys, sulle ja mulle. Let's see what we have here. Yep. What a mess. Burn the dress. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Sure. Sure thing, Arte. Sure thing. Perkele. No näet saab on ha. Kursid. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. This one seems like about right.
Let's see, yes. Dangerous out here, lady. But go see Chief Arishi. He's just inside. He'll help you. Do you know who the fuck I am? Lady. Threshold remnant. You're a boss, bitch. They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. <laughs> Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell... It's a bit of a shit show down here. What the fuck is that? We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen. I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Now what the fuck is textures, man? Why didn't the cutscenes textures just go more to Pega or something? Once you read all of this. Uh, the energy conversion is well below the acceptable percentage. So the pressure's coming so fast, I'm amazed the NSC is still holding. When it blows, we're all going to When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? <laughs> what do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. 
Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? Finland. I'm guessing Sweden. No, bitch. Well, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? Sweden, shut the fuck up. Imagine mixing right. you got a to Sweden lift. and Finland, man. What the fuck? It's fucking uh, disgusting. Just saying, you never mix Sweden and Finland. Abilities. Launch damage. Hell fucking yeah, I love it. Uh... Spin. There we go. Interesting. Ten thousand to upgrade. It swaps in the mo that mode when I'm close to enemies, huh? That's how it works, okay, I guess. I mean, it makes sense now, kinda. Before I go anywhere, I will of course check every single fucking corner here. What the fuck are those? Oh shit, man. Shit, what the fuck was that? I mean, this throwing thing is kind of powerful. I'm kind of glad I upgraded it. Maybe I will still keep my uh, healing thingy on. Instead of a better, I mean faster recharge. Cause, I mean. Oh fuck, okay.
fuck? This is a big side. I will not go anywhere yet. I will just uh, hang around and check if there are any notes and stuff. So far, nothing. Here was another mission as well, by the way. The Antis. See. So we can do that. Fucking invisible trees, trees. Oh, game crashed. Yes. <laughs> Textures was on the low. <laughs> for some reason, that way they were so messed up. Now I put them to actual resolution. But this still looks kind of weird though. I don't know, weird. Oh well. Um. We count as trash. What this? Fire trash 
interested, our team barrels full of hazardous construction seems like they're breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but My name if is that's Sam. what Artie wants, then I'll get it done. I believe I've discovered a... Hey, listen, talk to Dave about... My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I believe that I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself, right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Hold up. Hold up. Paranatural entity. Hold up. What do you mean? <laughs> Rip people, whatever. The furnace, man. Not me there enough. Middle. Enough. So far, I don't see more of them. Oh, fuck, okay, they're in vents as well, I guess. Okay, I actually have voice, kind of, thing. Oh, the sound here is not that happy. Need something big. Good. I want to jump up there. Fucked it up. Oh shit, that was too powerful throw. Very trusted. Hell yeah. Uh, evade. Energy recovery. Ooh. 
Mexiko. Damage. Znaczy damage. Quest. Dobra, ale damage ma not. So we're gonna clear that place a bit later again. I don't like that sound. It's fine, don't worry about it. the block power block to activate it A lot of this thing is. But I don't see what I can power up, you know. Shit! What now? My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. He got him caught with his hand in the fist. The fuck was that? I wasn't listening, Arty. Not yet. That's gonna be extra nice. No damage. Let's go. Ah shit, here we go again. I don't like that sound.
Dobra. Somewhere else, but where? This is kind of disgusting. Oh, the fuck, man. That's a the ew moment. to fix this thing ASAP. What the fuck was that? Holy man, I wasn't expecting some kind of fucking boss here or something like what the fuck? And out of fucking nowhere, man. Jesus Christ. It's a fucking tank. Jeez. Uh, uh. Thousand left, then I can get second mod slot for my weapon. Well, seems like the recall upgrade as well. I don't like that sound. I think I must fight them again, right? Then we'll spawn the boss. To be honest, I don't know how it works if you die like that mid boss fight. Because last time I just found.
Ist doch gut. Jetzt noch genau. Dann noch wird das bringen wir. Go up, oh shit. Das Box. That's Tutaj. Nie ma tyle. There we fucking go. I'm going there, I guess. Ventilation. That's the next place to go. Using melee five. Time is okay. Sounds fair enough. Um, We have here eight, eight.
missing. That's a fierce drop for some reason. With a heavy one. This road is blocked. Go there. Let's see what we have here. Okay, the saw between them. I yeah, believe I can, but like, is it actually that? of power can reduce a barrier using objects on the top from the range so you're giving finish to employ heavy weapon range so, uh, velocity animation will replace the previous results 
First thing we will continue after something. The safe object of of power is clearly available. Scenario, so I will okay. Okay, we're gonna get new thingy so so kind of barrier. can just take stuff just like ground, you know? Seems like the spin thingy will be the best thing ever made, maybe? But there's a lot of stuff for it, just a lot of mods and stuff for that thingy. Nightmare is fucking amazing looking on filter. Oh my god, that looks so good. This is what we came here to do. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege. To steer the Bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people. To protect them. The board is there to advise you but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, 
and trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach, and the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me and me alone. See no collectibles here. Where is the that oh got them that's it the other sector should be open now I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here I'll risk it you two should get to know each other We're going back. Copy that. Sadly, don't the game didn't remember that I broke the window. Yeah. Let's see what we have down there. Just interesting. Let's just leisure the next section. The containment sector, the Panopticon, is home to the altered items we find. It is a maximum security prison. It's a vault for the most valuable treasures on Earth. It's a powder keg big enough to blow this world to dust. A temple, a place of worship filled with idols of angry gods. It's all of these, and none of them. It's something more profound, unbelievable, unknowable. Something worse. Altered items. We've found many. They appear mundane, but nothing could be further from the truth. They're all powerful, dangerous, 
They press heavy on our minds because that's their nature. They've been altered because we can't stop thinking about them. We put them on altars because they're used to being worshipped. This keeps them calm. We contain them, but they don't want to be controlled. We study them to discover what makes them tick. If this place were ever breached, it would be chaos of biblical proportions. It was this one. North Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moor was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. North Moor never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, North Moor. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. So yellow. Reminder. This week, any documents that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any shade in between must be incinerated immediately. Failure to do so will result in termination and possible bodily harm. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Reminder, this week, any documents that suddenly appear pink, light red, or any shade in between Fucking rockets, mate. I don't like that guy there.
Jesus Christ, mate. Oh, this shit, this place is massive. This place, like, like I don't know what is this place. So giant. Oh, fuck. Okay. <clears throat> I was not sure when I fight was I like able to collect anything. Seems like I can collect when I'm in fight. That's good to know. Let's collect 15,000, I guess. Hello? I need some help here. 
Level five. Someone needs help over there. No idea what the fuck you're talking about. Sounds like there's a man down. Yeah, he can wait. He was down already for so for a while. He can wait a bit more. I'm pretty sure. Scrap. Name's Horowitz. I. Oh! Ah! Is he gonna be okay? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. But Wells is still in there. You gotta get him out. Who's Wells? My squad mate. We were hunting a runaway altered item. We followed it down into the clocks. The clocks? A threshold. The Bureau sealed it up years back because of all the clocks. We, w we followed the altered item inside, but the way it was acting? We weren't ready. Me and Wells were the only ones to make it to the motel court. He was right behind me, but he never showed up on this side. I'll go find him. But first, you need to get to a medic. Oh, Wells is the medic. Please, you gotta get him out of there. I'll be fine, really. Roop can patch me up later. Fine. But I'll be back for you. I damn well hope so. <laughs> Just. Use the motel cord there, it should get you into the clocks. Sorry, the threshold. Like total trash. to go where? Where's the guy then? Should have that that motel thing.
see I'm stuck on that. Able to go there yet because I'm not able to walk through this thing. Okay, uh, nothing then. Uh, speak Emil. Oh, got to speak to Emil. Okay. Jeez. the internal lockdown let's talk Emily yes of course listen Emily screw it just tell her I haven't been completely honest I have a younger brother Dylan when we were kids we found an old slide projector in ordinary's landfill the slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it, but around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron which must be connected to these Hedron Resonance amplifiers somehow. 
All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attack. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my key card. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Oh, damn. I keep finding traces of Darling, but still can't find him. Where could he be? But he's usually in his office in research or one of his labs. Dr. Darling has quite a few all around the bureau. Could be hiding in any one of them. I check myself, but I don't have access to most of them. Sounds like I touched a nerve. He didn't let you into his labs? Not all of them, no. Some had volatile material. It's ridiculous. I mean, this whole place is volatile material. Could have at least thought up a more convincing lie. I mean, how can I work without access to all the data possible? This place has a bad habit of moving around, huh? So you notice the building shifts. Did you know that 39% of bureau accidents are caused by the shifts? It's true. I ran the numbers myself. So they're dangerous. Oh, very. Yet one time, a shark got shifted into a meeting room along with over 2,000 gallons of water. It was a tiger shark, Darling's pet research project. I forget what he was researching. How do people work here? Good question. You said you're an assistant? Oh, it's just a title. I'm a scientist, a researcher. I work for Dr. Darling. See, when bureau agents go out in the field, the sites of altered world events, we study the materials, the altered items they bring back. It's always something we've never seen before. And studying them requires new instruments, methodologies, sometimes entirely new fields of science. Emily really loves her job. See, there's no guidebook for what we do here. Everything that happens at the Bureau, including the science, is without precedent. Yeah. Cool. What exactly is the Ocean View Motel? That's a bigger question than you might think. You see, I have extreme doubts that the motel is a single place. I mean, look at all the doors inside it. Where do they all go? We know that one door leads to the oldest house, but how come we can only ever open that one door? Maybe to open a door, you have to have entered through it. So if every door leads to a different dimension, plane, reality, whatever you want to call it, then I believe that the motel is firm proof that parallel universes exist. Does Darling agree with that? I haven't told him yet. I'm waiting until I can prove it. What can you tell me about control points? They're nexus points of the oldest house's unique energies. Now, I wrote a 30-page proposal hypothesizing that we could siphon energy directly from them. Darling didn't even get through the first page before he turned it down. Right. And, uh, has anyone ever used them to teleport around? What? Uh, no. What, I mean, you mean physically? No, not that I've ever heard of. Why? Because that's how they work for me. What? Really? Oh my god. More tests. <laughs> Let's 
I'll hold off on the tests until later, okay? Okay, you know, it's just, wow. I mean, this blows my control point theories right out of the water. I love it. <laughs> All right. See you soon. Be careful out there. They're saying Trench was shot dead. The situation's getting worse. I saw Trench and Darwin arguing. <laughs> A couple weeks ago, Trench was furious. You don't think, think darling? Don't. I think I went to the wrong place. There, thank us. Fuck, man. Uh, I guess I need the regeneration one. That I can, can I activate passive regeneration of health? Because that will be actually useful there. I mean, the pickups are kind of yike, you know. recovery and pick up. I thought they would do a passive regeneration. That was a lie. Oh, did I fail the mission? Huh? I feel the mission, huh?
Alright, I'm here. Fuck. Okay. Let's go and look at sticks. Oh, shit. <laughs> like there, you can go in the. How you can go in the hotel thingy? Oh yeah, I'm not able to do it. To go there. Sometimes we don't, sometimes it just don't work. No, that must be the on the top, no? Yeah. Blockages in pipe C through. I've been getting reports that something's tearing up the training grounds. Might be worth checking out. I should be going. Right. You got a lock down the lift. Look alive. Director on deck. I think I know where I must go. Because I went my own ways. I fucked it up a bit. So I went I, where I shouldn't go. So, but we're gonna fix that soon. Uh, that's why it was kind of messed up. It was kind of right one, but it wasn't. There we go. 